In this video, we are going to use the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator to apply the inverse normal distribution function. Again, this is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. If you have the TI-84 CE, then you should be watching the other video that demonstrates the inverse normal distribution with the TI-84 Plus CE. The difference between the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition is one little line in the inverse normal distribution. So if we go ahead and go to the menu for distribution. We see VARs and DIST right here, and so DIST means distribution. So hit blue with blue, second VARs. And notice that we get number three here. And so when we get number three, um, that will allow us to find a value on our x-axis that corresponds to a certain area. So taking this example, a manufacturer produces items with no a normally distributed lifespan with a mean of 8.2 years and a standard deviation of 1.3 years. The 1% of items with the shortest lifespan will last less than how many years? So the word less than means that it's going to be shaded to the left. And in order to get 1% shading to the left, we would have to know that it's the left tail. So 1% shading to the left has to be this small little left tail. Notice just from the picture being shaded, we cannot tell what that value is that corresponds to the lowest 1%, but we do know that it's somewhere in between 4.3 and 5.6 years. So we can go ahead and enter this. Now, the one thing we should note about the TI-84 plus silver edition model is that the inv norm only gives area to the left. We cannot choose where the area may be. According to the problem, we will have to address this issue in the next couple of examples. For now, since we need area to the left, this works out great. In fact, the area given to the left is 1%, so point 0.01. The mean that they gave us was an 8.2 lifespan, and the standard deviation was 1.3 years. If we go ahead and paste that in, we get the years of 5.2 rounding correctly to one decimal place. So the lowest 1% of lifespans is going to be less than 5.2 years. The next example states that the 5% of items that will last more than how many years? So more than would be shading to the right and 5%. The only way we're gonna get 5% area shading to the right is knowing that it's gonna be the right tail. Unfortunately, this calculator does not give area to the right. We only have the area to enter to the left. So we're going to go ahead and have to calculate that ourselves. There is a couple of ways to do this. The first thing we need to notice is that we the whole area under the curve is 1%, 100%, right? If this area to the right tail is 5%, that would lead the um, rest of the area to the right, right, to be 95%, because 95% plus 5% is 100%. So if you have area to the right, that means you would subtract that percentage from 100 to get all that area that's left over on the left side. This x value on the x-axis corresponds to either area to the left of 95% or area to the right of 5%. This will not affect the outcome of the getting the X value, or in other words, the number of years for the lifespan in this problem. Since this calculator only allows us to enter area to the left, we'll go ahead and use the 95%. So if I hit second VARs to go back to the distribution menu and hit three, I can change this to the area on the left side. The mean and standard deviation is the same, and I'll go ahead and paste and enter. 
So 10.3 years will correspond to the lifespan of the top 5%. In other words, the 5% of items with the shortest lifespan will last more than 10.3 years. The next example demonstrates the middle. The middle 75% of items with the shortest lifespan will last between how many years? So here's the middle 75%. I do see that it, the X values um, on the x-axis will be a little less than 6.9 and a little more than 9.5. However, since this calculator, the TI-84 plus silver edition, only gives area, allows us to enter area to the left, we will have to find these values individually. And we start with only area to the left. We do note that the entire total area under the curve is 100%. This means that if this is the middle 75%, what is the area that corresponds to the largest x value over here near 9.5, all this area to the left? Well, if I subtract 75% from 100%, I get 25%. Right? But notice that I have two tails that it's split into. And since the normal distribution is symmetric, uh, we will divide that by two. So notice here, if I subtract 75 from 100, we know that it's 25% is left over. But it's split evenly into each of these tails in white on the left and right side. That means there's 12.5% in these tails in the white tails here. So the middle set, so the largest area to the left that corresponds to this x value near 9.5 is going to be 75 plus this other tail, 12.5%. This is what you'll have to calculate using this particular calculator. The area to the left of the smallest x value, which is a little to the left of 6.9, is just going to be the, the tail itself, which is 12.5%. So the total area from the left of around 9.5 is 87.5%, which is 75% plus 12.5%. The area to the left of the smaller x value is just going to be the tail itself, which is 12.5%. We're going to have to do two separate inverse normal distribution functions in our calculator. Let's go ahead and find the smallest x-coordinate. So let's go ahead and hit second bars, number three for inverse normal distribution. And the area to the left here that will correspond to this first smallest x value will be 12.5%, which is 0.125. Air, uh, mean and standard deviation stay the same and go ahead and paste. So the middle 75% is between 6.7 and, and let's find the larger x value around nine and a half years. The area to the left here in this case is going to be 87.5%, which is that 75% plus that tail of 12.5%. Going back to our calculator and putting in 0.875 for 87.5%, mean and standard deviation stay the same, we get 9.7. These values look correct because 6.7 is a little to the left of 6.9 and 9.7 is a little to the right of 9.5. So this demonstrates how to use the inverse normal distribution function in the TI-84 plus silver edition calculator.